In today's video, we're going to look at the six main types of quadrilaterals. The square, rectangle, rhombus, parallelogram, trapezium, and kite. So we're going to go through each of these one by one and explain all the stuff that you need to know about them. Something to point out though is that we're going to be using the British naming system. So if you're overseas, a couple of these might be a bit different. So if we start with the square, their main features are that all four sides are equal length and all four angles are 90 degrees, so right angles, which we can show by putting these little squares in the corner. Also, the opposite sides of a square are parallel to each other, which remember just means that they travel in the same direction. So here, these two sides are parallel to each other because they're both vertical and these two sides are parallel because they're both horizontal. Then the last thing to know about squares is that they have four lines of symmetry and a rotational symmetry of order four, which just means that there are four positions in which they'll look the same as we rotate them by one complete rotation of 360 degrees. Moving on to rectangles, you can think of these as stretched out squares because one pair of parallel sides is longer than the other pair of parallel sides. And this means that they only have two lines of symmetry and rotational symmetry of order two. Just like squares though, all the angles are 90 degree right angles. Now a rhombus is kind of like a square that's been pushed over. To see what I mean, imagine we had this square and we pushed it up here in the top left corner. It would sort of lean over to the right and this shape that we're left with is a rhombus. Also, if we rotate it a little bit, then it ends up looking like a diamond. And in fact, you might sometimes hear a rhombus being called a diamond. But just remember that rhombus is the proper name for it. Because it came from a square, all four sides of a rhombus are equal length. But because it's been pushed over, the angles aren't 90 degrees anymore. Instead, two of them will be bigger than 90 degrees, and equal to each other, and the other two will be smaller than 90 degrees and equal to each other. So in total, rhombuses have two pairs of equal angles. They also have two pairs of parallel sides. So these two sides are parallel, and these two sides are parallel. Lastly, they have two lines of symmetry and rotational symmetry of order two. Next up, we have the parallelogram, which is very similar to a rhombus, except it's a pushed over rectangle rather than a pushed over square. So just like the rhombus, it has two pairs of equal angles. Because it came from a rectangle though, the sides aren't all the same length. Instead, it has two pairs of equal sides. So these two are equal length and these two are equal length and it also has two pairs of parallel sides, these two and these two. Parallelograms don't have any lines of symmetry, but they do have rotational symmetry of order two. Now a trapezium is any quadrilateral that only has one pair of parallel sides, and they can often be quite hard to spot. So if we look at these three shapes as examples, this first one on the left would count as a trapezium because these two sides are parallel, but these two sides aren't. So it only has one pair of parallel sides. This second shape though isn't a trapezium because although these two sides are parallel, these other two sides are parallel as well. So it's actually a parallelogram instead. And then in this last shape, these two sides are the only parallel sides. So this one is a trapezium. The other important feature of trapeziums is that they have no symmetry of any kind. So no lines of symmetry and no rotational symmetry. There is one exception to this rule though, which is a special type of trapezium called an isosceles trapezium. In these, these two sides here are the same length. And so the shape has one line of symmetry. So just remember this as the one exception. 
One other thing to add is that this here is the UK definition of a trapezium. In other countries, trapezium can mean a slightly different thing. Lastly, we have the kite, which is the same shape as the traditional kite that you fly in the sky. The important features for this one are that they have two pairs of equal signs, so these two and these two, one pair of equal angles, which would be these two, and one line of symmetry straight down the middle. But they don't have any rotational symmetry. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So if you found it useful, then please do tell your friends or teachers about us, and enjoy the rest of your day.